Here we are, another amazing day. So, what am I doing? You guys are probably like, what the heck? Did he just have some bass poles back there? Where's the open water at? I mean, this dude lives in the Midwest. Wasn't he just ice fishing? Actually, yes I was. But if you watched my last video, I made it to a spillway. A spillway that I've had tons and tons of success at. So, I'm heading to another spillway, and another secret, secret, pond not really in northeast nebraska it's about 40 minutes from here i wanted to go ahead and shoot the intro now instead of when i got bags underneath my eyes i don't know what to say because i'm tired i just got off work so i'm pretty jacked uh, i've been looking forward to this i've watched video after video after video they got crappie at this lake they got walleye at this lake they got catfish i was there two weeks ago got skunked ice fishing the ice is really risky right now We've had some really, really warm weeks, and I thought it was I was done, but I'm gonna try and venture one more time out on the ice to get some crappie or something, and then like a little bonus thing, like the last ice fishing video, I'm gonna do a spillway and uh, try and get a walleye back there or whatever's in that spillway. The only fish I've ever caught back there, I think, are uh, panfish of sorts. I think bluegill, maybe green sunfish. I think I caught more crawdad out of this back spillway than anything. Uh, a walleye or a saw guy or a sauger not quite sure what that fish was it's kind of different I'm not too hip on or knowledgeable on how to identify all the walleyes yet or the sub or the species that you know you know when you got a sauger and you got a walleye and then they do the birds and the bees and they create a saw guy so I'm pretty sure it's a walleye anyways too much time on that so that's the plan. I'm waking up super early like usual. Going to hit the road. Probably going to get up at about 5. Hit the road at about 6, 6.30. I'm going to try and go to the spillway first. So that way I can get off the ice in time. In case it starts to get really sketchy. Uh, it's supposed to be like 55 degrees tomorrow. So, hope the ice is good. I don't have a spud bar. So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, bringing the Vexlar, bringing an underwater camera as well with me. This is a super long intro. Anyways, let's just get to it. You guys will see. I'll try and explain the best I can. The only type of bait I'm bringing is wax worms and then artificial lures and stuff like that. So, yeah, I got new fishing combos loaded up in the truck. All new bass fishing reels and rods and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sleep good. Don't let the bed bugs bite or anything like that. Adios. Okay, I'm here. I'm at the lake. There it is. It's like a 300 plus acre lake. I'm going way over yonder to back spillway over there. I didn't bring a coat, so hopefully it warms up quick. I just got this sweater. Uh, this may be a two part video, guys. That's what I wanted to tell you. Just because if it ends up being that much content and that long, sometimes I'm going to be out all day, which ain't a bad thing. So, yeah, let's get to her. Get everything unloaded and uh, out on the ice. I guess I don't have to be too worried because there's already somebody here, so the ice has got to be pretty decent. He's way the hell out there, so. Cheya. Let's go. Uh, made it, guys, without falling through. Kind of sketched me out on the edge. I wasn't sure. I don't have a spud bar, so I know that thing ain't really heavy enough to really punch through stuff, but there she is. Hey. Let's get to her. What I'm gonna be using on my bobber, that I believe this is a size eight or 10 Alberdeen, just basically a long J hook. I like these longer J hooks. Easier to get out of the bluegill's mouth, panfish mouth. And I got that tipped with an itty bitty wax worm. Everything's about going small. This time of year on a 
small bobber so this will help me see the bites uh when you don't know the depths of where you're fishing i tend to start out well usually i'll just go deep right away but honestly your best choice especially one rushing like this i shouldn't be so loud but is to go shallow just start out i mean we can see and we can kind of tell yeah you're gonna know this is deeper than three feet so that's where i would start and then you can always go deeper you don't want to throw this out there and get it snagged right away so i'm going to start with about three feet about like that cast it out there let it float around naturally and uh, see what happens from there this is one setup oh that cast beautifully Oh, I got a 132nd ounce uh, crappie set up. Just an itty bitty jig. I'm running, I think this is four pound fluorocarbon. Uh, I haven't decided on a uh, loop knot. This will sit pretty vertical. And uh, I've been watching Richard Jean, the fishing machine a lot lately. He does a lot of crappie fishing and just trying to copy what that guy does for the most part. So we're gonna cast this out should have a longer pole for this and then just reel it in slowly letting it fall and just waiting for those strikes so this should fall about a foot a foot a second it's gonna fall real slow and that's that's what you want new guys i've been here for about i don't know 15 minutes i haven't had any luck yet I'm throwing this guy around now. A little overspin. I forgot to add some scent. Never used this stuff before, never believed in it. But I'm a firm believer in doing what works for other people sometimes. Because here I go on Richard Jean again, but if it works for him, I'm going to listen. That's what fishing's all about, right? seeing what works for the next guy trying to apply it to you if it works cool if it don't oh well i'm always willing to uh learn new things i know i just had a bite on this i switched it up i was casting and retrieving now i'm just letting this thing fall pick it up let it drop again kind of a risky game because i know this is real rocky pick it up just barely and I let it fall again. I pick it up and I let it fall again. I know I had a fish. I didn't set the hook. I felt it. I was like, dude, 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 dude. I wish I'd have got some high vis line. So that's like a mental note to myself. Cause this clear stuff is cool and all, but it, I can't see it. Not right now, anyways. You gotta be kidding me, I finally had a fish. Oh, oh, man. I had a fish, guys, and I wasn't recording. We got one. Oh, crappie, my first one. I don't want everybody else to know, so I'm being real quiet. Dude, are you shitting me? Look at that. It is a black crappie. Or it might be a white one. Looks black because the stripes aren't going straight down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I'm in love. Dude, you got one? Yeah, he got one too. We got a school over here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dude, who are you? Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Well, that might be something a little bit better, Chad. Crappie, but still. Oh, he... dude, is that all goop, dude. That goop yeah. works. I know, but you dare not put on gloves. You know what I mean? You're like that bite's just keeping that gloves off. Like, oh man, oh man. Oh, dude, I'm getting all kinds of taps, but I almost got the small one over here now. I was hooked up on that large mouth. The biggest freaking okay, the, right, the biggest freaking crappie in here and lost it. You seen it, wouldn't even fit through the hole. God it pisses me off bad. 
Got him. Dude, he's peeling drag. You see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at it. No, it's not that big. I was caught on the transducer, but. Oh, see how easy he came off? Mm -hmm. That's how you got to keep the pressure on. They're like swimming up. Another little baby. Not bad. So, me and Chad, my buddy Chad came out here. I've been sitting on this lake. We caught us four crappies so far. And then nothing, it just shut off. So we tried deeper, we tried everything. And I finally said, screw it, went real shallow. And I found some fish over here. I got a couple bites, marking them. So we're just now setting up on these fish and gonna give her a go for a little while and probably head out and get something to eat and then go to the next lake. I wish we would've caught more, but Still got a little bit of time for that. Son of a biscuit. Didn't get skunked. Ended up catching four crappie. I'm happy. I'm stoked. Dude, I've never caught a crappie before, so that's awesome. That's the most crappie I've ever caught. Biggest crappie I've ever caught. First crappie through the ice. All of that. My buddy uh, Chad ended up coming out here. I didn't know he was coming out here. I called him because I was passing his house. He lives over in Jackson. And next thing you know, here he is at the lake. So he ended up sitting down with me. He caught two, I caught two. I'm keeping them, they're smaller, but I kept them. I've never ate them. That's the only reason I kept them. I believe in catch and release for the most part, unless you're gonna eat the dang fish, which I plan on doing. I've never had crappie. So I'm gonna get something out of them. Uh, right now we're both starving. I'm mainly starving, so we're gonna go find a local diner, bar, and uh, get something to eat, get back out to Powder Creek where you guys see me slay catfish all the time, and try and get some stuff out there, and then uh, try and cook some of these fish up probably. So yeah, stay tuned, keep on watching. It only gets better for me. Up with somebody so much in my life. <laughs> you just caught one, I just caught one. I mean, Chad just got bait. I'm gonna save him for bait. Oh, are you getting another bite? Yeah. You still got worm? Yeah. Put your cigarette butt on there. I'm gonna have to. That works. The cotton out there. My boss, J Jason, was. Oh, look at that. Dude, who are we? Oh, holy crap. That's a green sunfish. He swallowed it. Dude, that's almost perfect uh, live bait size right there. I'm gonna have to rig up a uh, slip bobbers now. Big one, you see that? He's got my other pole, but I don't mind. Oh, got him. Woo hoo! Man, I told you, Chad. I should be catfish guide out here. Oh boy, he's squirrely, isn't he? Well, I'm putting this reel to test at least. You want to throw on some bluegill? We put a bigger bobber on there, dude. Yeah, Might as well. We got enough bait. We ain't got no catfish. Got one up. Yep. Dude, and these are the best tasting out of here. These catfish, I don't know what it is, but they're good. Man, that was like Five minutes tops, huh? Sweet. Little three, two pounder. Hey, fuck, Chad caught one too. Yeah, hey, that's a good one. Yeah, it's not bad. You got her? Dude, I mean, he's not that big to have eaten what he ate, but he's still, that ain't bad. There's a lot of meat. Good. Better take him home and eat him. No, I'm good. Their whiskers are like so much different in the winter, it seems like, like they're thicker and longer. Dude. Live bait. That's good. That's crazy. I mean, how many times did yours float over, you know what I mean? Mine too, just the right time. Guys, how cool is this? A snake in the water, dude, frozen. Are you kidding me? 
That's nuts. I wonder how long he's been here. Dude, that's so cool. Hopefully he's still not alive. I don't want him to bite me. Dude, he's not alive. What? I think this is a fox snake. What we have around here looks like a rattlesnake. And they intimidate other animals by acting like they have a rattle. They brush it up against the ground. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, is a type of brown fox snake or something like that. That is so cool. They're called as prairie snakes. Oh, you don't like snakes? You're scared of them? One hundred percent. It's not alive. Why are you so scared, dude? <laughs> Look at it. Isn't that crazy? That's so cool. You're that scared of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude, you're not respecting the dead. You like those glasses? Yeah, they work good. I had a pair of them. I already got a bite. Small one. Oh. Got him. Bluegill. Oh, a perch. Dude. My oh, or walleye. That baby walleye, huh? Looks like it. Does it got teeth? Um, I don't think yet. I don't know. I'm gonna have to let him go. Got him. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, big bluegill. Holy crap. That's the biggest bluegill I've ever caught out of here. Nice. Oh, badass on a forge spoon. At dusk, I'm still out here. My buddy Chad, he just left. Uh, actually, we both decided we were going home at Powder Creek. That's where we were, where we caught those catfish and whatnot. And I tried a couple more times for other stuff. Didn't get anything. And I don't know how good the lighting is, so maybe this will just all be audio. And anywho, we both decided that was it. We're going home. And then I called the wife, hey, we got a fillet knife. I got some crappie to fillet. She said, yeah, we're good. I said, all right. And then I'm driving past this like I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Let the good times roll, you know? So here I am. He never caught a bluegill here before. Not like that. That's crazy. That's good. Maybe they're active at night. Instead of during the day. I don't know. I got crappie and I figured, well, if I'm going to have to flip some crappie, might as well catch a couple more fish. Make it worth the while. Guess what day it is, guys? It's the cook day. So last night, I ended up cleaning up some of these crappie. I actually stopped at another lake. Caught some bluegill. So uh, I filleted some crappie. I didn't go ahead and show that because I do such a crappy job. <laughs> crappy job. Uh... <laughs> so uh i'm gonna cook some in fillets some just whole descaled gutted them head off all that good stuff my new charcoal girl can check it out itty bitty guy but it'll be perfect for camping and stuff like that so that's why i bought her and we're gonna fry them up out here on the charcoal grill wife appreciates me doing this stuff outside uh yeah so, so Throw some charcoal on there, let it get burning, and uh, we'll go from there, guys.
Need more coals. The oil is just not hot enough yet. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to add too many and then burn the oil, so. Oh, yeah. Bluegill. Oh, I'm glad I'm doing this outside. I can make all the mess in the world. It won't even matter. Yes, sir. Yes. I don't always keep what I catch, but when it's a first time experience, absolutely. I believe in trying everything once. And crappie is supposed to be some of the best fish ever. That to walleye, we will see. Catfish is probably about my favorite. That or uh, spoonbill. There she is, folks. Sweet. All right. Let me go ahead and give these bad boys a try real quick on camera. You know, I don't like to be rude and eat in front of you guys, but uh, that's just my privilege. 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 Now these guys, I don't know which is which. Uh, two of these are bluegill, and two of them are crappie. These little chunks. And, uh, I'm always weary of bones. I eat fish like really weird. Remember that was good. I'm just gonna dig right into the crappie. I guess, I don't know, I'm probably butchering this, I'm sorry. That's good. Really freaking good. Um, I'm totally doing this wrong, there's gonna be a ton of bones in that. Ouch! It's still hot. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. That's amazing. That stuff is phenomenal. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and do us an outro now. Now I'm done. I'm not done eating, but I took a few bites. It's really good. Bluegill's good. Crappie's amazing. Uh, it tastes almost like bluegill to me. I don't know if it's the seasoning or what. I don't know how to cook everything perfectly yet. I don't know if you want to go ahead and bake some of this or pan fry it a different way or, you know, not deep fried as much. I'm not sure, but anywho, uh, let's go over what happened. So, we ended up getting pretty lucky, I think, me and Chad. So I didn't catch anything out of that back spillway at that other lake I was at where he came and joined me. And then, dude, like, we just walked. But I did look on the map survey, so it was a little bit of, uh, you know, intel. You know, I, I did find out where a deeper spot was there on the lake and we just happened to sit right on top of the right spot at the right time. We got four of those crappie right away. Went over to the spillway, worked our way up. I told him, I said, watch this. We're gonna work our way up the food chain. We caught some bluegill, cut up the bluegill, then threw that on a bobber, caught a catfish. And then that bigger catfish that I caught, I caught that on a live green sunfish, a little baby one. So uh, ended up doing some more ice fishing I uh, had a little bit of luck. I think I caught an itty bitty walleye over there or something. Uh, got to use underwater cameras. So that was cool. Then I ended up being obsessive and going to Crystal uh, Cove. And you guys seen that. <sighs> I was out there till 8.30. I think I fished about 14, 15 hours yesterday. Got up at 6 or 5. Started fishing about 7. Didn't stop fishing until about 9. So uh, get out there. Do what makes you happy. If it isn't fishing, so be it. You know. Do, do whatever you like. This is what I like. Hopefully you like it too. Be sure to share. Be sure to, you know, give it a like. Uh, all that good crap. I say, uh, a lot. I think I'm gonna come out with a shirt that says bow and rod. Uh. <laughs> so, anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please tell everyone. Tell your mama, your daddy, your great, great auntie. We coming. We all coming. Peace.